Hi, it's Russ here from Studio One Expert, and I want to talk about taking control of your reverb. When I say taking control of your reverb, one of the plugins that deserves a little bit of care and shaping is reverb. It's a bit like auto tune, is that uh, there's a common misconception, and people just throw auto tune across an entire track. And yet, it's most powerful when you go through it note by note and do some just minor adjustments to odd notes rather than across the whole track. It's far more natural. And with reverb, sometimes reverb, you can't get it to sit very well in a track. So I'm going to show you a couple of really uh, cool techniques and tricks that you can use. Uh, the first one is pretty straightforward. And if I play you this, this uh, vocal first that's playing, and then uh, we have a listen to it, I'm going to show you what I've done. So here's the voice. Woman in white Standing alone Yeah Woman in white She's got no where to go Now the first thing I've done is used one of my favorite plugins before the reverb so I'm sending to Phoenix Verb which is a beautiful reverb all of Michael Carnes' stuff is good the Phoenix Verb is the natural one of the two it's kind of the real stuff and then the R2 is the one that does the kind of uh, lexicon H3000 type stuff and so I'm using the Phoenix verb here because I want this to, to be a really nice plate. And I've already rolled off the bottom end as it's leaving. But what I'm going to do as well is I'm going to control what goes into it as well. So if I'm using Filter Bank, I'm just going to keep that stuck to the page. And I'm using Filter Bank from Mac DSP, another favorite of mine. In fact, of all the filters, if you ever spend money on a filter over and above the stuff you get with your DAW, then this is the one. This you will find all over my mixes. Uh, I, I use it all the time. It's just brilliant. It's Filter Bank at 202. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use Filter Bank to control what hits the reverb as well. So if you see, I've rolled off a lot of the bottom end and I've rolled off some of the top end as well. So if we just turn it off again first, in fact, we'll play it and we'll bypass it and then put it back in. So first, this is it without Filter Bank going to the reverb. Woman in white Standing alone yeah, woman in white She's got no where to go Now let me put it in and listen again Woman in white Standing alone Yeah, woman in white She's got no where to go. Pick it up a bit more. So I've made it a much darker reverb. I've made it much darker by by controlling what goes in, not just what comes out of the Phoenix verb. And so that's the first trick I'd say. And you could experiment with that. So as I say, if you listen to it now, this is it. Uh, let's just do these. This we'll do this second phrase that the singer does. Standing alone. Yeah. And with the in. Standing alone. Yeah, woman in white. Michael's stuff, as I say, is fantastic anyway, but, but what I'm doing is I just want to get some control on it there by sending what goes into it. So that's the first thing I want to talk about. The second thing I want to talk about is using automation. So if we come here and we press the A button, I've already got the send level to the uh, reverb drawn in. And what I'm doing is that on certain notes, I've put reverb automation into the reverb. So if I play it you first without the automation, you can hear it. So... Woman in white Standing alone Yeah, woman in white It's just some of the reverbs popping a bit. So what I'm doing, I'll put some automation in. So if you listen to it now, so the woman Woman in white Standing here Standing alone Yeah, woman in white And again, that yeah, if you listen to that yeah yeah. Yeah, woman. Yeah, woman in standing. Standing alone. Standing alone. You can hear it makes such a difference. Let me show you how that's done. I'm going to zoom in a little more onto the S here for a second. And what I'm going to do first is delete it back out and show you how it's done. So I've created an automation lane. And the way we create the automation lane is what we'll actually do is we'll pull it all out altogether and we'll start again. So I know exactly what I'm doing anyway. So I'm going to 
kill the automation lane, the send level. Remove that. Complete with automation, close that. So it's now flat. So the way we create the automation lane is we click on what we want to, to add. And so I'm gonna click on the Phoenix verb here, there. If I grab that for a second, you'll see the send level is now coming up in this information tab. If I grab that and drop that hand onto there, I've now got the send, send level for the reverb. So we can go through and draw it in. Make sure we're on the arrow tool. Woman in white. Mm. So I'm gonna get the W on the woman. So I'm gonna go click and click and click a center one, then pull it down. Now the great thing in version three, you could do this in all versions, but in version three, you get the added extra of having the automation envelopes. So we can do that. Woman in white. Mm. Bit too extreme, so push it back up a bit more. Woman in white. Here's the S. Stand. I'm gonna click. Click. This would pretty, be pretty extreme, I think. Let's have a listen anyway when I pull it down. Stand down. So it's going to pull that down envelope there, an envelope there. Stand down alone. Yeah. Well, it's going to pull that down a little bit. So what I can do is, well, if I wanted to, I can, as I say, put a second one in there, just drop that down. There's one there I don't want. I just want the center one. And then we're going to use envelopes to get the shape. And a shape on that so you can put a nice kind of dip all together if you want and in fact, no I don't want that on the envelope so I'll just delete that back out again Grab the envelope there's the curve mm, yeah mm. woman it's too far so we'll pull it back up again mm, yeah mm. woman so still wants them in there so it's still let's say it's 6 db or in fact 17 db down mm, yeah mm. woman in mm. white just listen to that now let's go back Woman in white Standing alone Yeah, woman in white She's got no way There's one there as well, she's got, so I'm just put one in there Let's pull that down She's got no way and A bit there as well, that kind of Just take some of the clanging out of it the back here a bit as well. She's got no way to go. Okay, that needs to come up a bit more. It's too extreme at the moment. Where to go? You get the point anyway. I'm rushing this. I'd normally take some time to craft it. But as you can see, using both a filter, I'm using the filter bank 202 from Mac DSP to go in before the Phoenix verb. So you see the Phoenix verb is there in the insert and then before it, I put the filter bank to filter out lots of stuff. And then by using automation as well, those two techniques will give you much more control over your reverb. Thanks for watching. I'll see you again soon.